Hello. Today we're gonna disassemble uh, Del Vostro. I think the model is uh, 3568. Uh, this time we're gonna replace a hard drive and we're gonna replace the thermal paste on the laptop. So let's start. The first thing, of course, we have to remove the battery. And like I usually do, I remove all the screws on the back. So I don't have to flip around the laptop. The screws under the battery they are smaller otherwise all the rest of the screws are the same size now we have to pull the optical drive Put it on the side. Now we're gonna flip the laptop and we're gonna remove the keyboard. You'll need something sharp to put between the keyboard and the the rest. There's a few clips on the keyboard, so you have to use something sharp to, just to open it. Like this. Now we're gonna remove the screws which are under the keyboard uh, and we're gonna try to separate both of the plastics. Also, I wanna say that everything that you do is at your own risk. Because I see sometimes people write on the comments that they did the same and now the laptop doesn't power on. Where apparently you did something wrong, otherwise the laptop should work fine, so everything that you do is at your own risk. Just be careful, it's not that hard. Now we have to separate both plastics. On this laptop you have to put something between these two plastics here. So I always start someplace in the middle. Be careful, no need to rush. We have we have screws on the optical drive, which I forgot. I don't remember when was the last time I opened that type of laptop, so... Okay. 
After that, just lift the plastic gently. Basically, that's the laptop from inside. Now, first, we're gonna replace the thermal paste. This model, I think, it's with a uh, ATI graphic card. It's on a separate chip plus the CPU. Have one free slot for upgrading the memory. Also, it's uh, DDR4. Just disconnect the fan cable like this. We're gonna remove the two screws which are holding the fan. Let me try to make this a little bit brighter. Yeah, like this. Uh, it's very clean actually. Except the thermal paste is quite bad. Now we're gonna use some alcohol. To clean around the CPU. We're gonna clean also the cooler. Usually I don't replace the thermal pads if they're in good condition uh, By my opinion There is nothing better than the, the original thermal pads Now we will apply A new thermal paste. I am Always using Arctic MHX2 it's a decent paste and it's very good quality for the price. Don't put too much, otherwise when you put the cooler back it will squeeze and make a big mess. So next time when you have to clean more Double check does all the screws are tightened and we're gonna put back the cooler and the fan. And of course don't forget to connect the fan 
otherwise you have to do the same procedure again now we have to replace the hard drive there's two ways you can disconnect it from the connector or you can disconnect uh, the cable first I like to do this because it's safer you can't damage the cable now we have to remove the four screws which are holding the hard drive this is the boring part but somebody's gotta do it we will replace this SSD with a different one I'm gonna put a, a Pacer AS350X it's just a regular SSD the customer just wants a new drive just pull the connector gently like this and insert it in the new drive after that put all the screws back back the cable first and lock it after that just put the, the hard drive screws always check the hinge screws with the time they're getting loose we have a broken plastic here nothing major uh, basically that's it just double check the fan connector and the hard drive cable now we have to put back everything else together have a cable here which we had to connect first but like this now we want to put all the screws under the keyboard
-hmm. Now we have to put back the keyboard, just open the connector, slide the cable in. Sometimes it's not that easy because the cable is very soft. Like this, you have to be aligned with the connector. Now slide the back of the keyboard like this, insert the sides first like this and just push the upper side. Now we have to rotate the laptop and we have to put all the screws back. First the ones under the optical drive which I forgot at first. And now the rest of the screws, don't forget the smaller ones are under the battery. We have to slide the optical drive of course. Now let's check, I think the laptop have a battery, let's see, is the hard drive visible? Yeah, we have the serial number, so it's all good. Now the only thing they gotta do is just to reinstall the windows. But I'll stop the video for now. Hope you like the video. Bye bye for now.